some of the best minds in the world bringing you some of the best knowledge on TRS clips. This is something I always wondered even when I was a kid. You know, we used to keep hearing about um, crime syndicates in Mumbai, like the whole Dawood Ibrahim uh, phase of Mumbai, or even before that, with the amount of dons that this city has seen. Why didn't the government send in the special forces of that time to deal with these gangs and just take them out? Good question, and I believe this question makes sense to the people who are listening or going to listen, and to the people who make decisions or policies. See, you raise an organization to fulfill a mandate. First of all, you make the mandate. What is a mandate? It is tasking. Then you raise an organization. Then you make sub branches in the organization. Then you equip the organization. That is the process. So the special forces mandate is to operate across the boundaries behind the enemy lines in a conventional war to neutralize very very important targets. Apart from that, surveillance, falana. I mean, killing VIPs, roadblock, different thing. Now, if you want to employ special forces to kill mafia, then why do you have the police? Why was the police raised then? So instead of hiring a sword to cut your vegetables, sharpen your knife. No. Okay. Make the knife better. Yeah. We've had D. Shivanandan on this show, who okay. uh, is responsible for actually cleaning up Mumbai. Honestly, okay. it was one of the most powerful podcasts we've done. Okay. And you need strategists and leaders like that. Yes. What I understood from the conversation with him was that. He wanted more political support. He could have done his job earlier. Yes. He eventually, after uh, the 2611 terror attacks, he was responsible for cleaning up this city. And it's a podcast I highly recommend to you as well. So I'll 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 look. Yeah, but uh, um, I do we do we really see that much urban crime anymore in India? Would you would you say? I don't think so. It's not organized. Crime. I don't think so. In pockets, maybe yes. Personal vengeance, vendetta, maybe yes. But organized crime in a manner wherein there's a big, you know, uh, organization. I mean, th there are there are hierarchies and they are uh, they have a bigger aim. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But you know, it's like a very kind of mathematical obviousness that if there is organized crime, you send in the best warriors in the country to take it out in a night. Yes, that is doable. You can go and buy an uh, buy a sword and. Give it to your cook to uh, <laughs> cut vegetables. Can you not do that? Yeah. And the sword will do an excellent job. Yeah. But do you require that sword? That is the question. Okay. Has the sword been made to cut vegetables? That is the question. Mm. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.